Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Pretty big changes coming to the Mythic system. So Pixio posted this on their Instagram today. And as you can see, there's going to be a Mythic update. Uh, Greeks are coming next, then Japanese, then a completely new set. But what is pretty great about this is that the rotations are being shortened to two weeks now. So it makes progression a lot smoother. Um, you're a lot less time restricted on Mythics. There is still time restriction except it's a lot less redundant because I feel like one month was just way too much. It made sense while it was maybe just one or one, two or three, not one, like two or three different uh, mythic rotations. But once you're starting to get to like five or six, as it's going to be now, um, just having those one month cycles are going to be way too bad for progression, right? You have to wait six months to get through the whole rotation, depending on where the important mythics are. That could just mean you have to wait six months and you just can't really do much and a whole bunch of that stuff that gets fixed by the new two week cycle. So that's super, super good. Um, they're also dropping new mythics. I don't really have any knowledge on what these mythics are going to do, but hopefully they're somewhat meta relevant. I'm going to be honest, the Draco mythics were not really meta relevant at all. They're all pretty mid or pretty useless for the average end game player, especially with the presence of like, I don't know, King and yellow setups and, uh, the ridiculous DPS outputs of Jiraiya and Amaterasu. So yeah, hopefully these new holiday mythics are nicer. But, um, you know, it's not really too great that I think they're releasing a new set of mythics. And I like the whole two week rotation part. I think that's really great news. But I think a six set of mythics is not really super great for average players, I guess. I mean, I understand that a lot of the dedicated community or a portion of the no i'm gonna be honest a lot of the dedicated community does use rerolls so mythics are pretty easily obtainable the hardest part to obtaining them is just waiting and of course that's shortened with two weeks now but i think for the average player or for a player trying to play legitly the majority i think mythic monsters like if you compare the amount to every other amount of monsters there's more mythic monsters right i'm not saying like they outnumber everything combined they, they might actually outnumber everything combined now i'm not so sure but basically mythic monsters now make up a super super large portion of the game and they're super broken as well the legit drop rates for them have not been fixed yet so i just don't see how the average non-rerolling player can really obtain a lot of these strong mythics and having them time locked i think also creates a lot less for someone to actively be doing without just waiting for the next rotation or the next event. Uh, what I mean by that is, that, you know, if you install the game and you're trying to play and complete all your monster collection, all that stuff, right? You can go grind for your legendaries and go grind for your epics and you can have a lot of stuff to do, but you don't really grind for mythics. You kind of just wait for the rotation to come and then burn all your gems rolling for it in two minutes or spend like 30 minutes re-rolling. So I don't know. I think a sixth mythic rotation is not really something that we needed right now, right? New monsters definitely appreciated in the form of mythics, though. I was probably, you know, I, I would have liked even, no, not really special because there's way too many special monsters and the special rotation is really bad, but probably like legendary or epic would have been nicer uh, just because mythics are a little bit difficult to work around for most players and then. The whole re-rolling issue as well but yeah i know that's pretty much the uh the news here so we're getting a nice change and then we're also getting a change that like me personally i'm i'm not too impacted by having new mythics added i can honestly just go roll for them really quickly and get them but i think that it might be a little bit healthier to incorporate non-time locked monsters especially mythics which are uh very difficult to obtain for a lot of players so that's pretty much all the new news and my opinions on it if you wanted reviews on draco's and uh the new special i think the new special is just a jiraiya clone basically like a lot of range but probably you know not going to get the same use in the end game because i think there's a lack of slow and also lack of element not that it really matters with king and yellow now but lack of slow probably gets out damaged and it also gets out farmed by Jiraiya in farming setup. So basically just a Walmart Jiraiya. And then in terms of the Draco Mythics, um, none of them are really that great in the endgame, honestly. Blue is, I think it's just a buffed Sluggy, but 
a lot of times you can just use sluggy anyways there's not too much of a difference and then purple can be like a decent cosmic carry so yeah cool that's uh, i think that's everything i need to catch up on uh thanks for watching like subscribe and uh have a good day